This is Mr. Joe from Virtrobotics, and today I'd like to introduce the Virtrobotics 4-Pin Audio Jack Board. So this is a real small board, as you can probably tell, and it's designed to connect up to the 4-Pin analog port on a Versalino or a Versalino compatible device. So as you can see right here, it would plug into this port right here, and you'd be able to plug in, say, this microphone directly into your Arduino or Versalino project. You can also use this plugged into a breed board so that you can use it on just about any other device with analog ports. Now I will say that for most projects what you'll need to do is put this through some kind of amplification circuit but you can also use this for the actual audio output port so if you want to do like a line out from a computer or another device that's normally going to headphones, you can plug the other side of the cord into your project. And this was designed to help one of our customers take input from their audio system, read it on their Versalino, and then control the lights in their bar based on the current audio levels that they were finding. And if you were super clever, you could also use this to determine frequencies and things like that by doing calculations on your input levels over time to make changes to your lighting patterns and colors. This, along with the Versalino and our transistor board, is what was used in that project to control high power lighting for the entire bar system. Basically, with a little bit more detail, you can see that you've got your, your high voltage ground and your two channels. And on the back, you can see that the high voltage is not connected. The only one that's connected is ground and your two inputs. And so the VCC pin is not used and these ones are. You could plug this into a solderless breed board and wire in your own amplifier pretty easily and then read input if you're trying to do direct mic or if you're doing line input you should be able to directly connect this just make sure that your line output never exceeds five volts or whatever your operating voltage limit is on your system that's really important because it's pretty easy to destroy an analog port if you connect the wrong maximum voltage in Anyways, that's just about everything you need to know about this board. I look forward to seeing what you all put together with this. And as always, stay nerdly and have a great night.